Hi, this is George coming to you from Nautilus Mission Control at the University of Rhode Island's Inner Space Center. And we're joined today by Dr. Katie Croft-Bell, the chief scientist on the fourth and final leg of the 2012 expedition. Katie joins us from Nautilus, which is in the southeastern Aegean Sea. Katie, tell us, what are we doing in this area? What do we hope to find? Well, we're, we are working off the uh, Aegean coast of Turkey near the towns of Bodrum and Kenidos. And in this area, we've found approximately 20 shipwrecks over the past several years. Um, what we're doing right now is returning to several of those shipwreck, shipwrecks, which range in age from classical, which is... Um, more than 2,000 years old up through the Ottoman period. And so what we're doing right now is going to several of those shipwrecks for which we don't have complete mapping data sets. Uh, Dr. Chris Roman, one of our staff scientists, is aboard, and he is directing the surveys that we're doing. We're going to each of these shipwrecks, and we're collecting photo mosaic imagery, so stereo imagery. These are still images that are going to be stitched together to create a map of the entire site. He's also using very high-resolution multi-beam bathymetry, as well as laser structured light uh, technique to be able to get a very, very high resolution map of these shipwreck sites. So since the Nautilus is moving on to the Caribbean next year, we'd like to um, collect all this remaining data that we um, either didn't collect previously or the data sets were not, um, were not sufficient to be able to, to create the very high caliber maps that, that we like to, um, to have to be able to give them to the archaeologists so that they can then interpret the sites. Katie, in the Black Sea, below about 150 meters, there's very little oxygen. Is that the same case here? And what does that mean for the shipwrecks that we find? Well, there is oxygen all through the water column here in the Aegean Sea, and so that means that we're not going to find uh, shipwrecks that are as well preserved as we do in the Black Sea. Um, one of the uh, major sort of research focuses of the shipwrecks in the Aegean Sea that um, Dr. Mike Brennan is working on, one of our um, postdoctoral researchers at the University of Rhode Island, is the effects of trawling on these shipwrecks. Um, we found that many of these shipwrecks have been trawled, and this trawling is when fishermen drag nets across the seafloor and looking for fish and other, you know, other seafood that people are going to eat. Um, and what happens is when you drag those nets over shipwrecks, they break the amphoras and the other, other artifacts that are here. Um, and we've actually found a very large number of shipwrecks lying near underwater cables because these are no trawling zones. And so Mike has done a lot of research on the various regions in which we find either better preserved shipwrecks because they haven't been trawled or these destroyed shipwrecks that have been trawled. And why do we find so many wrecks in this area? Well, we find a lot of wrecks in this area because people have been living here for um, very long periods of time, thousands of years. And um, Canidos, Rhodes, Bodrum, all of these areas were uh, major shipping areas in, in ancient times. So there would have, you know, this would have been I-95 on the East Coast, a lot of ships going here and there um, all over the place. And it's a very rocky coast. Winds can pick up very quickly, so it's also a very dangerous place to sail. All right, well, Katie, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. All right, thank you, George. We'll talk to you later. For those of you following at home, you can join us on Facebook and Twitter. And of course, you can always tune in to live exploration right here at nautiluslive.org.